check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Nicole Jergens, what up her? Oh, you know. Just hanging. <laughs> you know, that dance you're doing, that whole, those gyrations you're making, that's all very uncircumcised right there. <laughs> you are, <laughs> go, go, say it, say it. At the poker table, when we like, we play music for each other in our ear, ear pods, ear pods, ear, ear, your pop, they get whatever. it yeah <laughs> and i would dance like this because we're sitting at the table right and mike's like oh yeah you're all shoulder i'm like man shut just up just all I'm, just all shoulder i just can't all. move my whole body at the table but i got i got some good shoulder movements yeah but you used to like just like it would be like one shoulder then the other shoulder and then it would be like in tandem and then you would just you would just get it and i would be like wow and then i finally got to see you dance and i was like uh <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean I actually can dance? You didn't know that. Actually. You you can dance. Can you dance. actually you like, actually. No, 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 no. You better clarify that. I know how to dance. <laughs> you're, I mean, you know, let's let's not get crazy. You're you're definitely good at what you do. You you make it work for you. Uh, but I've been known to shut down whole parties. So I'm I've on a been whole known to level. make the kids embarrassed because <laughs> I dance in front of them. My kids call me cringymom.net. They're like, oh no, <laughs> cringymom.net. Because I like to dance like that, but they don't know this mom actually. Like if they saw how I actually dance, they'd be like, Jesus. <laughs> Clearly you and Esther have gotten together in some scheme to uh, rid the world of bad dancers. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you're this you and this hair thing. I'm just um I'm oh. it's clearly changed your whole attitude. Let's talk about, more. Oh, <laughs> Let's talk about my hair. I love I'm it. just saying, like your energy is just it's almost like you're a Samson. You're just you're you're just getting all this energy from your hair. This is interesting. This is interesting because I've never been a a, a person who cares about I don't want to say doesn't care about like outward appearances, obviously. Obviously, you always do, but I didn't, like in LA, it's a very big thing, right? Everyone's makeup, hair to the night, everything, whereas often I'm no makeup, my hair is a rat nest, and I'm wearing flip-flops, right? But there is something to the way, it, like you say, it's your energy that makes you feel when you do take care of yourself. So I guess there's something to that. I always, I think, probably find myself conflicted between, like, well, why do I have to? But then, I'll, like... I guess you gotta find where that spot is for yourself. Like, I think it really is truly doing it for yourself to find that energy, whatever it is you need. If you don't need it, you don't need it, great. Don't do not do anything, like whatever. Most days I don't really care, but I do also know that when I don't take care of myself enough, like I'm actively not trying to take care of myself. Like, like I, I was telling Mike, like, I wish I would have put makeup on, like, oh my God, like my hair and my makeup, it would have been crazy. But <laughs> when I, during COVID, like I literally haven't worn makeup, <clears throat> I mostly never got my hair done. Uh, I was wearing sweats every single day. And I think that even just doing that, you say it's no big deal, but then after a while you're like, uh, you start to, it does affect your energy at some point. You're like, uh, well, whatever, I'm just a big schlump. Here I am, like, you know. Spell so. schlump. S-C-H-L-U-M-P. Yeah, I don't even know what that's really a word, but anyway. It, it, um, it, is. it is? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're actually the most interesting person I know and this is no exaggeration from that perspective, like you, you literally seem like you just don't care at all a lot of times, but then you'll like, you'll do something and I'll just be like, yeah, like even with the hair, all right? Or you'll, you'll put on makeup for something like, you know, whatever. And I'll just be like, I, she's such a, just a dichotomy of just, her spectrum is so like I just I can't I can't sum you up in a bowl put in a box it's like you just don't try to don't try to unravel it I'm trying I to stopped. unravel it. I'm trying to unravel myself and I can't do it so you don't I try stopped to no I stopped <laughs> <laughs> stopped long time ago trying to trying to unravel all right well that's enough talk about you and your you know your vast uh, well, it's leads into that though because you're gonna ask me something I know you're gonna ask me something about Kim Kardashian I don't know what but it leads into that because I am probably one of the few people in the world that literally I've never once seen that show, The Kardashians. I've never, I never have followed I've it. I've seen it. I've never, any of them, any reality shows, I just, I don't want, I'm not interested. Um, 
and I guess that's where I guess I get the uh, thing like I don't care about I, I feel like a lot of the reality shows it's just everything is appearance not necessarily physical appearance just appearance about like what you say what you do what you know right they're trying really hard to make a story even if it's reality right because it has to sell it's, it's just, just unscripted like it's not reality yeah I don't I don't care for it so I never did watch the Kardashian show so whatever you're well, asking I can give you my opinion based on that you're literally and in, in not even in the same universe with what I was going to ask you but um Mom's yeah, I've I've seen the Kardashians show like years ago and you know whatever I I Anyway, so here's what I was going to ask you. So Kim Kardashian did a an interview because I guess this is the last season of her of that show. Um, so she did an interview, and the the host of the show asked her, which which like I was telling you, I think was a great question because I've always had this question pertaining to the Kardashians because as far as I'm concerned, there's no discernible talent that they actually have outside of, of a couple of them are very attractive. And other than that, there's nothing unique or special about any one of them. Uh, but anyway, the host asked her, do you think you would have had the meteoric rise to wealth and celebrity and stardom and all that without having done that sex tape that she did I don't even know how God, it's probably 15 years ago, at least now, something like that with uh, Ray J. Was that, um, I don't know much about it, but was she the one that did the sex tape with the guy that then made Girls Gone Wild? Is that that one? Is that no, that no, 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 no. That guy is, uh, I, his name is like Joe something or other. He's actually a, a white guy, Ray, Ray J's, um, you remember Brandy, the singer yeah. Brandy? Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's her brother. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, not that that's, means anything but anyway her brother um and at any rate i've always had that same sort of question as it pertained to the the kardashians like does she realize like she literally has gained all this uber wealth and status and all this stuff in society for for having sex on tape and we know now years later and she'll she'd be willing to admit that it was something that was done purposefully kind of like the paris hilton playbook for getting um um uh, famous mm -hmm. um, and they were actually friends so it makes sense that, that that it happened with her too but anyway my question for you is wait what did, she say? what did she say to the question he asked her oh she she simply said yeah she was like she she was honest and I can respect that she was like yeah I don't I don't think that I would have gotten famous or anything like that without it without the without the tape so she was honest and I can respect that well, you need something to propel you and that that propelled her to get i assume to get eyeballs on her to get the reality show like if you don't do something that's fantastical like who's gonna want to make a reality show out of your life you know so i'm not saying that it's right or wrong i'm just saying it makes sense well that's i'm glad that you just said that because that's a perfect segue to my question which okay. is would you be willing to do something like that to gain her level of wealth and status and celebrity and all that good stuff oh okay so i don't or what would you be willing to do yeah like, if i wanted that life yes for sure like yeah if, if that's the life that i wanted and someone said like is this is this person that she had sex with like somebody that she willingly consentedly like liked more? yeah i think they were i think they were like a, a, a couple at that time oh yeah okay so yeah, yeah. i mean if i thought that that's what that tape letting that tape out you know probably they tape a lot of their sex campaigns if I thought that allowing that tape out would then get me somehow a gig, like a reality show, sure. I mean, to me personally, it's not a life that I want. I don't even, I don't even like reality shows. I don't want to be a part of a reality show. So, but I'm trying well, to Well, forget about the reality show. I'm just talking about just, just, you could, you could make reference to either just money or you could make reference to fame. Like, so for me, I could care less about fame. I, I would love to be rich. Like if I could be uber rich without the fame, that would be the preference if I had to, if someone gave me a choice. So the question's like, if somebody offered you a million dollars to put a sex tape out, would you do it? Is that more like the question? I mean, that's that's a good question. And if you're asking me directly, like a million dollars is not even near <laughs> the amount of money I would need to 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 do something like that. Cause well, a million dollars just isn't just, much anymore. But they'll just hand it to you and you just have to make a sex tape. Like you don't have to do anything, but like, 
I mean, it's not, it's just a normal- Well, you have to have sex with someone and it has to be on video and then that video has to get leaked to the to the world, I guess, yeah. I mean, if it's my husband or my boyfriend or whoever and they're like, oh, we'll give you a million dollars just to see your sex tape, like, sure, why not? I would. Really? Yeah. Wow, so yeah, no, I- to give me a million dollars for one tape of me having sex, consensual sex with somebody that I care about like, well, I do this yeah, all the time. Realize. Like, you want to give me a million dollars for sure? Like, who cares? I mean, so the world sees it? So what? Like, they see they see Pornhub every day. Like, I don't care. Yeah, but you're not on Pornhub. No. Not well, not that I know of. It's not. <laughs> you got something you want to. That's my hair. Hold on. Let me, let me do a search. <laughs> no, no anyway. but what I'm, but my thing is, so consider the fact that you have two children, right? you have two young children right now that are going to grow into older children and then they're going to be adults. And let's just assume they end up seeing that. Like, you're well, okay well, with... I would probably tell them right now and show them. You would tell and, them? Yeah. What? I tell my kids everything. And I don't, like, why... Wow. It, this is a decision... Okay, so again, this is a decision only I'd make. It's like, I, it wouldn't be like, oh, you have to go have sex with this guy. Like, no. If it's... I can have sex with my, somebody I love, right? That I'm already having sex with anyways. And you want to film it and then put it to the world. And you're going to give me a million dollars for that. I would do it. At the same time, like I had people in poker. This is actually a true story. Uh, there was a, a number of people, but this one in particular I'm thinking of. When I was 26 at the bike, at the casino where you and I play, um, a lot of guys, you know, I'm the only girl there. So I always got a lot of attention, you know, like literally mm -hmm. women are 3%. They say 3%. I think it's probably less than 3% of the actual poker population. Um, and not only that, but I was a host. So I'm very overly generous and nice to everybody because I'm making, trying to make the casino look good. But then I have people, then they would talk to me and like dudes talk to each other and I never took offense at it or whatever, but offer me money to keep me right? Like, like an LA thing, right? Like offer me money, like, oh, but I'll keep you, you know, like, like basically I'd be on call as their girl and they really give me money. Yes. Two people offered me this one guy in particular, I'm really thinking of because he was just so old and huge. And I was like, Oh my God, no, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, is that I won't do that. I won't. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go on, I you, you stop sort of mid, I may have cut you off. I want to know what they wanted for that money. You you oh, just started out by saying what they, they wanted. Yeah, they wanted. No, and I, I, I'm assuming sex, but I'm saying there was, it sounded like you were saying they wanted you to be like a uh, kept like woman, a like their paid mistress. girlfriend. Yes, like their mistress, like they're, you know, that they, they pay. Like, in, you know, like we can negotiate. Really? I can give you. You know, ten. They were offering ten k a month. Where when I'm 26 playing poker, I was making you know, two thousand dollars a month, like a nothing. I was making crap, right? Um, but no, I in that situation, no, I, I don't want to sell myself in that way. Like I don't want to agree to go and fuck you and be your side piece, and and that that doesn't feel right to me. So no, I won't do that. But if you're telling me you're just going to give me a million dollars just to video me having sex, which I do normally with the person that I love, yeah, you can put that out there. And I will share that story just like that to my children. So like, we have this million dollars now. We can go buy the house that we want, or we can move here or whatever. And yeah, there's, there's. You would tell them there. that you would tell them that right now at their ages right now. Yeah. I really? Why? Why? I, I think it's so funny that we think children we coddle them like we think that they can't possibly understand i think we do more harm than good by by not just telling them the truth like telling them honestly like they they understand when i tell when i tell them like that like i, I would tell them for sure because i would want them to understand from me exactly what's happening not from hearing it from somebody else wow very 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 interesting and unexpected uh answer from you but, on that all that is to say, I could be rich by now, some kept woman somewhere, but here I am uh, out of a job during a pandemic, but I got my hair done, so. Your, your life would be so sad because if you were somebody's kept woman, then you probably wouldn't know me. So no, your whole- Nobody can keep me. Nobody can keep me. Like, that's just the problem. Like, you can't, you can't like buy somebody's love. I think that's probably a lot of the issues. Well, like, they don't want your love though. 
uh, they think it's love. Like I think a lot of times men confuse sex with love, um, and that's why there's a Whoa. lot. Whoa, of- I'm pretty sure. That, I'm pretty sure that that's the exact opposite no, that women you. confuse. No, for you, but I see it at the poker table all the time. Guys, so I'm oh, I do all of this for for my wife. I which all of this means he works. He has a job, right? He's never home because he's always at the poker table. So if he's at his job and then I see him another five hours a day at the poker table, he's never home. So he's not with her, but he's complaining about her, about how she doesn't love him because, you know, and, but he expects that she's meant to because he gives all the money to her. And I'm just like, this doesn't even make any sense. Like that's, of course it's not love. Like, do you love her? You're here. Like, why are you not with her? If <laughs> you like. Wait one second, wait, 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 wait. You're saying that you think that men confuse sex with love? Yes. Men confuse sex with love? Yes. Hmm. That's why they get so confused when they have all this money and they buy these women who agree to the deal, but then they don't understand why they don't love them. Like, of course they don't love you. They are taking your money and like you said, I, just, I, I don't I don't see how it all how they I, I think that that I think that these men that you're referring to are probably a very minuscule percentage of the population because it sounds to me like it's an LA it's an LA thing right I mean for, yeah because I'm pretty sure that on a whole a men are the ones that just can have sex and not love the person you know most most frequently I think women are the ones that get themselves in trouble thinking that the man loves them and that's why they're giving so much of themselves to the said person because they think there's love involved when the men just don't give a damn you're just another set of draws for them i mean that's that's just that's just how men that's how men think i mean i don't see that, I don't see that. but again it's hard for us to have gender conversations because i'm I identify as a man so <laughs> It's very hard for us to have these conversations because I, I, the women that I, the women that I know are not like that. That's why it's also very hard for me when they're like, "All oh, these women just want to take my money and divorce me." Like, what the, who the, where are these women? Like, I don't know any of them. Like, when I got divorced, my husband and I split all of our assets 50-50. We share our kids. There's no support. There's no alimony. My friend in Minnesota, when they got divorced, she actually has to pay her husband alimony and give him support. Like, I don't know where all these women are who are cleaning their husbands out and in divorce. Like, so I guess it's just a matter oh my. of who you wow. are. Wow. Wow. You live in the cleaning their husband out capital of the world, dude. LA is women crush men and do you know let me just tell you i don't identify with those women i do not i I, I mean maybe you don't and i would agree that you probably don't but i will tell you right now that god forbid my wife and i divorced uh i wouldn't need a weight loss challenge i would just end up being about 115 pounds because she could get everything and you don't even want to know what I would have to pay in terms of child support, having three kids below the age of 18. It is, it, I, I know guys, and I'm being dead serious right now. I know one guy that I met probably eight years ago. Hold that question. I know one guy that I met probably eight years ago and he, I found him, this is the truth, Nicole. I found him crying in the bathroom at our job. And I took him downstairs just to clean him up and, hey, what's going on? And he told me how much it was going to cost him to take care of his wife and their one child. And at that time, I think I'd been married, let's say 2013, 10 years. Uh, And he told me at 10 years, like what happens? I literally thought to myself, wow, this is actually why men kill women. Like I understand now, and I'm not obviously not saying that that's a good thing, but I'm telling you that the court system bludgeons men. So if you don't know those people, hey, good for you. I'm glad you haven't been affected by any of them and you're, you're not jaded by all those people. I'm not affected Dude. by them. I, we, we actively are the opposite of them. We're by we, you mean- men and like that just doesn't even make any sense. So all the guys who are crying also like, if he has one kid and he has to give all of this money to her, like maybe he's a better lawyer. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's just the way the system is set up, dude. You, there's lifetime alimony in California after seven years of marriage. 
lifetime alimony. The only way you stop paying alimony is if your spouse remarries. That's it. And a lot of times spouse, ex-spouses won't remarry just because of that. So even once the kids are raised and out of the house and out of the college and they could be living with their own doggone husband or wife, you're still paying alimony to your ex-spouse if that person is not, is not remarried. It's incredible. And California is a no-fault state. So it's not like you could be like, oh, my wife cheated on me. I want a divorce. It doesn't matter. You've been married seven years. <laughs> you're on the hook, bro. If you make more money than your wife or your wife makes more money than you, which is, which is a lesser percentage, obviously, uh, you will pay your spouse lifetime alimony. Well, like, okay, consider your situation. Okay. Esther stayed home for how many years with, with three kids? Uh, 15 years. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, at least 15 years, you should be paying her alimony, I would say. You know, at least. Like, she never got paid during whoa, that time. Whoa, she whoa, no whoa, money. whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're basically now saying that in that 15 years, she got nothing out of the relationship. Not that she got nothing, but you're, you're, you're still going to have to split assets and everything. But you made the money. It's all associated with you. All the retirement plan, unless you're going to split up retirement and stuff too. All the retirement's going to come to you. Well, no, they, you can't, they the, can't touch retirement. So that's, that's the only I'm thing saying. they cannot touch is retirement. That's what I'm saying. She didn't get that. She didn't get that chance to build retirement. She did like, there's so many other factors that people don't consider, right? They just thought, Oh, look at this lump of sum. You got to give her like, she didn't get the chance to build up a retirement. She didn't get the chance to build any of that income for later. She didn't, she didn't, and not that you didn't share your income with her. I know you did. And not to mention you're incredibly generous, but also, like, if you look at actual, like, scientific data, somebody brand some scientific data and said, like, a stay-at-home mom, an actual income should be, like, 100 grand a year, right? That's an income she didn't make or is never going to make. If you have to pay her 2000 a month for 15 years, that's still not even close to what she should have made, but I, I think it's fair. Like, I, It's I way more fair. than 2000 a month, I'll tell you that much, especially yeah. in my case. It would be way more than $2,000 a month, but there are... To your point, there are countries that actually pay stay-at-home moms. Yeah. So I don't, I don't necessarily. It, boy, this conversation is deviated to another place. But I don't, I don't uh, think the onus is on the man to pay the wife's salary. And the reason why I say that is because typically a stay-at-home mom, and and I, I really don't want to offend anyone out there. It's not my point at all. And, and God bless single, you single, you single mothers and all that. Happen. Well, no, but I don't, I don't, I don't want people to think that I have like this callous attitude because I know stay, uh, single mothers and mothers that are out there putting in the work to raise kids. I mean, God bless them. They're, they're the, they're the best and the strongest, but typically two parent households yield. There's a higher percentage of productive children coming out of two parent households and by productive I mean like they tend to do better in school they tend to go further in education and then obviously typically going further in education means you're doing you know a higher level of work for society and and all of that so it's kind of a trickle down thing so I don't think the onus is on men to be paying their their wives right because the government should be all for figuring out a way to allow a mom or a dad to stay home with the child so that there's a higher chance of success for, for the child. Well, I think um, that's a great idea, but they don't do that now. So it's, I understand why some of the stuff happens that does in divorce, right? Like I mean, it's totally there's, unfair. There's it's totally unfair. I think it's unfair. I mean, you're talking about specific situations, but there are situations where, you know, a woman gives up her dreams and to pay for her husband's dream, right? Become a doctor, whatever. And he leaves her like, you know, you can't, you can't say it's completely unfair. She, she but raised Nicole, for, Nicole, for, I'm not, for 10 years and then made nothing and he made everything and then took it with him, you know? No, I, I'm not arguing with you in any way, shape or form on that. I, I don't even necessarily disagree with you on that. I, I think the perspective that you're taking as it pertains to like, why do I, <laughs> all I'm trying to say is, this is not rare. This is the, this is the rule, not the exception. The justice system clearly favors women in terms of child support, alimony, um, um, what, what is it when you, when you have cu or custody of the children, 
right? Typically women will get custody even if the even if the man is like, you know, he's not like some alcoholic, child molesting, abusing person. He's just a good, decent person. Typically the the, the woman will still get the, the lion's share of custody over the kids. So the justice system in no way, shape, but I think it's getting better, but I'd have to study that more. I've heard that it's, it's getting slightly better. The court definitely recognizes that, that a man is, is definitely needed in, in the child's life. Whereas 20, 30 years ago, it was almost like uh, if the man didn't, the man didn't want to be with the woman, he was just absolutely not necessary at all in the rearing of the child. Children need their mothers. So I think we can all agree, uh, especially the day after Father's Day, that that's just not the case. Well, and, I know also it is all of it's changing because there also used to be just a lot of deadbeat dads, right? Just who just didn't want anything to do with the woman or the child, right? And I think that's that's a whole other situation. That's well, a whole other situation. That's why a lot of the rules have come out the way that they have. You know, all the things have been have been, but like you say, it is changing now because I think men are much more involved now. Men are are wanting to be fathers much more. Are part, you know, even if they're divorcing, they want that role um, much more than so they do. Deep- you 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 think it's fair then that 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 after in California because it's a California thing and I think New York as well uh you think it's okay for the government to say like you owe your spouse money every month for the rest of their life I don't know about the rest of their life I know somebody who just got um divorced actually five years ago he got divorced and this is my friend's boyfriend and he's a fire captain and so he makes good money fireman right and he's a fire captain they make good money and they have a huge retirement and everything mm-hmm. Um, so there's, there's, there's ways you can negotiate, like to, he gave her alimony, but he gave her extra for so many years, not for her lifetime, but for so many years, but under the agreement that she doesn't touch his retirement. So there's a way, like, this is what I mean about lawyers. Like, this is how lawyers work together. It doesn't, it's not just necessarily you get alimony for the rest of your life. Like maybe that's what they will suggest, but it doesn't always just end up that way. Like, do but I you know, think that's fair? Not necessarily, unless in extreme situations where literally the she was a mother for multiple, multiple years and has really no other skills or, or abilities to have a life on her own, like without some support or assistance. Maybe in that case, I, I don't know. You, you know that uh, the overwhelming percentage of people who find themselves getting divorced cannot afford attorneys on either side, the man or the woman. They can't, they typically, typically, what's that? I believe that for sure. I mean, well, they can't afford them because they're so freaking expensive. Right, but what I'm saying is, is so that you just referenced somebody who who had the money to, to, to you know, uh, commandeer a lawyer and, and, and have them work out, you know, hey, don't touch my retirement. You need a lawyer to work that out. My husband, my ex and I never had lawyers. You can write your own papers. You can go, to, they have clerks at court. They have office hours where you can talk to somebody for free. They, I mean, they have everything it's, it's available. It's not easy. And, and, no, it's and not from, easy, but life's not fucking easy. Like you figure- No, 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 no. Yes, but what I was gonna say is when I say it's not easy, what I'm saying is, is like your your situation even with your ex was probably more tenable than most. Meaning there, there wasn't the whole just contentious, like I want the kids. No, I want the kids. You guys- decided that you you weren't going to work out together and then you you like mature adults decided to to go different ways but you did it and you you, what's that conscious uncoupling (laughs) that's what that's what uh, that's what they call it i mean we didn't call it that but somebody conscious okay yes uh great i i learned something new all that i'm saying is that you had a situation that was probably better than most people's because you didn't have someone that was trying to rake you over the coals and you weren't trying to rake him over the coals so it worked out better but there's a lot of relationships nicole that split up that that you know are just like you know well, mma are, fights this is, gets back to other stuff people just need to work on themselves they need to be better like they really do like <laughs> it ain't about you it's about the kids get fix your shit they need to hire me <laughs> they don't need to hire a lawyer they need to hire me <laughs> I will help. I promise you right now that if Esther and I ever got divorced and one of us hired you, I would murder everybody. Well, because, <laughs> because you know who would be hired me would be Esther. <laughs> you, That's why. I would actually just be like, you know what? Jail seems better. I think I'll just kill both of them and, you know, <laughs> get my three meals a day and 
you know, go play basketball for the rest of my life on the yard. Because you would just be like a freaking pit bull. I already know. I already know. Listen, listen. We started off about sex tapes and we're now we're talking we about- We sure did. Do we want to <laughs> end it on sex tapes or where, where, are we, where are we taking this? Well, at this point, like, I mean, we're going to bring it back around. Yeah, let's bring it back around. What's, yeah. what's the minimum? Listen, 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 listen. Okay, let's bring it back. Yeah. What is the minimum that you would take in terms of money? A million, so it would nothing less than a million. Because you can still Ooh. buy a lot with a million. I mean, not in LA, but I mean, I could I could have a massive amount of land and a house and a nice place in in Minnesota for that. That's that's fine. Oh, so I know something I was going to ask you too. Uh, listening to you talk, so you talked about you know doing this sex tape with someone you love and so forth and so on. What's the difference with doing the sex tape with someone who you just it's just a hookup like why why does the love aspect matter i'm just oh, curious about I, mean, that. I guess if it's a hookup that i want it, the, the aspect is that i need to want to be with that person not just like oh here's well, a- we're talking about consensual sex right you're yeah. or you're saying you need to you want to be you want to be in a relationship with that person i want to choose who i'm having sex with i don't want someone right. else to pay me to have sex with them that i don't want to have sex with because then your money can't pay me for that so it doesn't have to be a husband or a boyfriend or whatever. It's just no, someone who you're okay with being with. Willing to have sex with, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I was like, why does, I was just thinking to myself, why does it matter when we're talking to, now we're talking about money, like. Like, yeah, you can't, you can't just like put somebody in there, anybody, and just be like, oh, how about this guy? Like, no. Are you fat shaming people now? Is that, is that what's going on? What? Where did that <laughs> come from? What? Did I say anything about fat people? See, this is a problem. Yeah, when we first started, yeah, you were like, let's go back to this and let's talk about this is a problem with our world. Like, are you fat shaming people? That's the question you ask me right now. Wow. <laughs> because when you started out, watch, when you watch this back, you'll hear it. You, you said something about like, he, what, oh well, no, you were talking about, you were talking about the guy that, that offered money at the bike. You were like, he, he was fat and well, old or something. He was very old, much, much older than me. I'm saying all this because it's not necessarily this, but this just adds to the picture. Bald, <laughs> big, huge belly, short, and his personality, like a white guy, but with the constant like ruddiness, right? You know, and his personality was just like, and he's married. And I still want to see this person. I still alone, want to see him. Like you're married. Like, well, why does that matter to you though? Why do you care? Because I can't do that. Uh, to me, I can't do that. I'm not. I'm not gonna break up no happy home. Like, no. Well, what if it's what if you what if you got real clear uh, information that his wife was okay with it? it? If I got that information from somebody that I was interested in, maybe. But no, not uh, like I don't. I don't date married men. So, like, no. What about you? What's your number? How how much? How much for yours right. and Esther's sex tape to go out to the world? Uh, fifty dollars. Ooh, I can give you that. I can give you that. We can put it right here on this channel. We can do we can we get a lot I can, of I, can, I, I can tell you right now in all seriousness, there is honestly probably no amount of money for me to do that with Esther. Wow, why? Uh because sex is to me, to me, sex is special. Making and, and love is special. Sex is sex. Well, making love is sex. No, so, I mean there's different. There's, different. there's there's fucking. There's sex. There's making love. There's different. There's- you you can you can do all of that at one time. You could, but you don't have to for the tape. But what I'm saying it's is sweet making love. For outside. I'm not listen listen. You're now talking about the various types of of coming together. I'm saying that no matter what it looked like between her and I on that particular day when we recorded us, it's it's always special it's always special with her. She is, she is my, my wife, my queen, my, my everything. So but it can't be that's special. not anything that I it can't be special and somebody else can see it. You can't be both. Say, say it again. You broke up. It can't be special and somebody else can, can watch it. It can't be both. No, it, it, it absolutely can be both, but, but because it's special, I don't need anyone else watching. That's, that's something between her and I, I mean, like, come on, a hundred million dollars, a hundred million dollars to release a sex tape of you and Esther. I'm still going to go with no $200 million. No, 
No. Five hundred million dollars. Lord half, Jesus, you, that's half a you, billion dollars. You're gonna say do you no, have, really? Do you have five? Do you have five hundred million? If someone has it, and they said, "Look, it's right here. I got it right here. I'm gonna transfer it into your account. All I want is one tape. You and Esther haven't." I would have to do it after July 21st because uh, <laughs> oh, so that's what you, you're worried about body shaming. No, no, I'm joking about that. Uh, Five hundred million dollars. OK, let's we're being highly uncircumcised right now. Right. We're just totally uncircumcised. This is just raw, raw content. Mike and Nicole. Right. Nobody else is watching this anyway. Right. So uh, five hundred million dollars. I probably would really, 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 really consider it. And I'll tell you the only reason why. Because that kind of money would be generational wealth. And I'd have to really weigh, like, is my morality and how I feel about the, the sanctity of, of sex greater than how much I would love to take care of generations of moors. Well, you can have that conversation even ahead of time. Like you can have it with Esther and your kids. Like, hey, I'm thinking about this. This is the amount of I money. Never, I, I would pay. never involve my kids in that Why? Conversation. Why wouldn't you? Like they're going to find out and you can ask them and feel comfortable with that. There, everyone has a number and I, and I hate saying that, but it's fucking true. We all have a number. We do. For everything. Well, for certain things. Like you couldn't offer me enough money to take another life. Like if right? it's no, no, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. Five hundred million dollars. Somebody that you hated. First of all, I honest to goodness don't hate anyone. I'm not just saying that. I, there's no one on this planet that I hate, and I know I don't hate anyone because I know what hate is. Because I have hated one person in this life, and I know what that is. So I can tell you right now that I don't hate anyone. But even if I did hate someone. There is no amount of money, no amount, and I mean this, there is no amount of money that you could offer me to take a life. I, I don't know no if I would do it, but I think probably for some amount, I probably would. I mean, somebody I didn't like or I thought was a bad person, I probably would. I think everybody has a number for everything. I think. But but so, wow, th this conversation is really morphing into something else. Because Like, okay, well, let's go back to my well, initial. No, 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 hang on, because I want to ask you this before you move on. And then just no, remember where you're at right now. The same thing, I was going to oh. say. The guy who, who offered me, you know, 10K a month, like I was like, no, I didn't even want to. But if he said to me, I'll give you a million dollars a month, he started with that. Like a million dollars? I probably he offered you a million dollars. No, I said if he did, I'm saying everyone's oh, a oh, number, oh, right? Oh, oh. Like, you know, I have my conviction and I have like 10,000 a month, even though it's a lot of fucking money to me. I was like, no, like, and I didn't even address or talk to him about it again. But he, he oh, he did also say uh, 20,000 a month. And still, I was like, no, whatever. But uh, wow. if he comes to me and says, a million dollars a month like i probably have to think about it you know like i mean a million dollars a month to just be somebody's you know sex toy okay i mean i didn't want to just be nasty about it but yeah something to that to that extent that's 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 not even close to when we're talking about money to take someone's life even if you don't like them you Right. You don't even believe in the death penalty, right? I mean, I'm sure you don't. I know, but I bet that there's some number. Like, I don't know that I could do it, but I bet there's some number. Like, I feel like everybody has, we say we don't, like, even you were talking about your sex tapes, right? Right away, it's like, never, never. But then you keep going, you're like, but maybe, you know, like, there's a number for everything. We don't want there to be, but there's just other considerations. Can I, can I tell you a funny story real quick? Yes. So real quickly, we were playing poker one day, you were not on this table, me and a bunch of our mutual friends. And one of our mutual friends who shall remain nameless, uh, Ryan Feldman, <laughs> <laughs> put, and he, he will laugh, at, he will laugh like you're laughing right now at the story, but he put the most terrible beat on me. We don't need to talk about it, whatever. It was the most ridiculous beat. You've seen Ryan do it, you know what he's oh, capable yeah. of. I offered everybody at the table and it, the, asked, Augustine was there. He was on the table. He'll tell you this is the truth. I offered $10,000 for somebody to punch Ryan in the face as hard as they could. I didn't want to do it because A, I knew I loved him and we were friends and, and I still wanted to be his friend afterwards. And also I didn't want to go to jail. I offered anyone that wanted it $10,000 to punch Ryan as hard as they could in the face. And guys were like, ah, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, no, I'm not joking. And then one guy was like, how do we know you have the money? 
I pulled out my phone and I pulled up every bank account I had and I handed my phone to Augustine and I said, will you verify for him that I have $10,000? And Augustine said, I can tell you he has $10,000 in multiple accounts. <laughs> Are you ready to punch mine? <laughs> and of course, nobody, nobody took me up on it, but I was so mad that I literally would have paid $10,000 for that. Okay, now think about this though. In that situation, let's say you just got that beat from Ryan. Somebody came up behind you and said, dude, I'll give you 500 million right now to, to, to shoot him. Will you do it? To in kill that, him? Yeah, to kill that, him? I would have shot him in the leg. To kill him? Like shoot him in the chest or the head or something? I don't know. Sure. Well, you got to tell me. Am I killing the man or am I am I wounding okay, him? Okay, how about the leg? Leg? Is the leg good? I would, I would have shot his leg. I would have shot his leg <laughs> three times. I would have shot him in the ass so fast. <laughs> it would have just been all over the place. Oh, I would have shot him so many times in the leg because A, I know because I've never been in jail and I've never committed a crime that I've been caught for uh i know that i'm not going to jail for long right so if i gotta spend two years in jail for 500 million i'll do two years in jail i'll do it i'll do it but i'm not killing him no i would not kill him for 500 million no way but i would i would blast his leg for sure Blast him. i might have actually just done that for free just ran up on him with a mask and just shot him in the leg but yeah, I mean, there's definitely things we will do for X amount of dollars, but I you know, every, I think, I think everything at some point. Probably. No, not everything, not I mean, everything. Once In fact, I'm like really surprised to hear you say that. Dollars, like a trillion, like there's a. What, what is a trillion? What is if? What is a billion or a trillion, right? There's no difference. They're both just money that I can't spend I mean, in my life. We're a lot different, actually. No, I, 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 I understand the math. Thank you. You get like eighty more yachts oh because you know i really need 80 yachts because you know i boat a lot but listen all i'm saying is that if you had a billion or a hundred billion i don't think that that's going to sway anybody in terms of something that 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 challenges their am i am i boring you that challenges <laughs> their moral compass <laughs> you know what i'm done no, this this, i don't want to hear about your moral compass this, anymore this, this, <laughs> This has been highly uncircumcised. Uh, the conversation's a wrap. I can see in your eyes and your yawn. Yes. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> you need one of those midday naps. <laughs>